And I'm Sam Consonero. And we are your 2016 Epilogue Yearbook Editors. This Wednesday is the Spring Awards Assembly in Yearbook Distribution, so make sure you're there to pick up your yearbook and buy one if you haven't already. This year our theme is We Are Always Moving Forward, and we're going to give you a sneak peek of what our book looks like. When you open the front cover, you can see that the sections are divided into seasons, so we have summer, fall, winter, and spring. And when you open the book and you go past our opening pages, you can see that there's the summer divider, which is the start of all of our summer pages. And then there's the fall divider, the winter divider, and the spring divider. And if you open up to a random page, like this one, you can find in the top left corner the season, the page number, and the week that we covered. And in the top right corner, you can find the topics that we put on that page for the week. For example, this page covered Ridge Rage, the AQR Math Carnival, Boy Soccer, and Halloween. So all those topics occurred during the week of October 26th to the 31st, and that's the topics we put on this week. We can't wait to show you guys the rest of the book, so make sure you're there at Distribution Day on Wednesday. Good morning, Palmer Ridge. I'm Nick Bridges. And I'm Michelle Mutu. And this Palmer Ridge is our last Ridgeline broadcast of the year. So sit back, relax, and try not to get too emotional. Even though school is almost at an end, track is still in full work mode, with the state competition coming up. And soon, varsity spring sports have begun training for state competitions. One of them is our very own track and field team. With the season coming to an end soon, our track and field team are more determined than ever to compete at their highest level. With state just around the corner, Head coach Kelly Christensen hopes to lead our team to yet another victory. Uh, yeah, so this year, obviously, I think the the easy answer there is to win, repeat, um, three-peat, actually, for the boys, and then on, on the girls' side, get back in the top five. If you get the chance, make sure to go support our Bears as they compete for the state title. From Ridgeline, this is Sean Brady. Thanks, Sean. By the looks of it, it looks like that they are on track to win state. For our next piece, Nick here got a look at Intro to Business and the mock trial they did. In Ms. Rezovic's Intro to Business class, the students had to put on a mock trial to show that it's not all fun and games and making money in the business world. Not all you learn in Intro to Business is marketing and entrepreneurship. Sometimes they have to learn about the laws of business. To do this, Ms. Rezovic and her students set up the room to look like a courtroom to hold a mock trial for the big bad wolf against the curly pig. Once the trial commenced, all of the participants read off a script of what their role was and they had to act out their part. The trial was about, it's kind of like the three little pigs and the bad wolf. And I was the attorney for the curly pig and apparently the pig was trying to cook the wolf and I had to stand up for the pig. As the trial went on, each side's attorney would call up a series of witnesses to find out the verdict. Once all witnesses spoke, the jury went into another room to decide who was guilty. Unfortunately, the curly pig was found guilty for attempted cooking. And I'm Nick Bridges, signing off for Ridgeline. It's a shame to see curly pig go down like that, but that's what business is all about. Even at the end of the year, we still have homework, and this means the homework club is still helping out our students. Here at Palmer Ridge, homework club is a great resource to take advantage of. I go to homework club because, you know, it's a lot of help that it really helps me bring my grades up, and if I'm struggling with something, I can get teacher's help. Homework Club meets every Tuesday and Thursday in the library from 3 to 4. They offer a variety of help in all classes through Teachers and National Honor Society kids. This club isn't just for kids who need a little extra help on some of the core classes. It also offers time to get homework done in a quiet and focused environment. From Regine, this is Samantha Tomich. Thanks, Samantha. Make sure that if you need to cram before finals, you go to the homework club. Another sport that is coming to an end is girls lacrosse. Natalie here got a look at what they're doing in the final stretch. Girls lacrosse has been working very hard to achieve their goals for this season. 
Lacrosse season is coming to an end, and they have won most of their games. During practice, they work on drills to improve scoring and defending. Drills include passing the ball to each other and blocking each other. We worked pretty well as a team at the beginning of the season. None of us really knew each other, so we had to get comfortable playing with each other and um, getting to know each other a little more, but now at the end of the season, it's been a lot better, and we work together super well, and we're really close-knit. The lacrosse team works together to score on the opponent and stop the rival from getting points. The team works hard to achieve their goals of winning. Next time you have nothing to do, stop by and watch a lacrosse team. From Ridgeline, this is Natalie Wright. Thanks, Natalie, and good job, girls, for having an outstanding season. Finally, here's our last weather report from Bobby. Maybe he'll finally get it right. I mean, you know what they say, 75th time's the charm. Well, good Monday morning, Palmer Ridge. Welcome back from the weekend. My name's Bobby Pascal. I'm your local, friendly, and always accurate Palmer Ridge weatherman. And uh, hey, hey, Nick, get that out of there. Get that out. I still have one more. That's right. But unfortunately, I am, you're also graduating weatherman. And so that means today is the last forecast this fake meteorologist will ever deliver. And it all starts with the surface map. Checking out the current surface map, we do see a whole lot of things going on over the United States, most of which I've done a pretty good job pretending I understand for the past four years, none of which I really do. However, there is a high pressure zone moving on over our state, which could produce some clearer skies and warmer temperatures, and we'll look forward to that this week. Checking out the temperature map, that is reflected by a high of 68 over Denver. The rest of our nation considerably warming up, as will happen over summer. We'll check out the Monument 5 day and see what happens over this town. Partly cloudy this Monday morning with a high of 65 to show for it. On Tuesday, those clouds stick around and so do the similar high of 66. On Wednesday, we see some scattered showers and uh, also a typo. I don't believe there will be a high of 27, but I do believe on Thursday that sun comes back, we see a high of 59. On Friday, we end off our week with a high of 76 and uh, Nice sunny skies to lead us into the summer. Well, Palmer Ridge, I may be graduating, but I can't just leave you with no ways to, you know, predict the weather over the summer. So today I am proud to announce my latest invention to predict the weather from the comforts of your own home, anytime, anywhere. Palmer Ridge, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to unveil the window. Just look out a window, Palmer Ridge. That's all you got to do. And now, since it is our last forecast, I am proud to bring on our two weather women who will be carrying on this legacy next year. Please welcome Brinkley Gary and Eileen Dreer. Hey, Palmer Ridge, I'm Brinkley Gary. And I'm Eileen Dreer. And we're happy to announce that we're the next two weather women of 2016 to 2017. Mr. Say and I are really happy to all of the applicants who auditioned. Not your show yet, not your show yet, Brinkley. <laughs> but we would like to thank everyone who applied. And uh, if we could take you all, we would but we can't. So these two women will be taking high place next year. Have a great, wonderful, sunny summer, Palmer Ridge. And for more information on the weather, go outside. Go outside. You're going to regret this. I already am. Thanks, Bobby, and thanks for all the weather you've tried to give us over the years. That's our show, Palmer Ridge. Thanks for tuning in to our last show of the year. But before we leave, we're going to take a look at the not-so-perfect moments we've had in Ridgeline. See you later, Bears. Students are working on many new and exciting projects. Uh, yeah, look at you. It's a project that takes an entire semester to do. I don't know where I'm going to go with that. I have to be part of you can go. You go. I'm working on it. <laughs> Writing. Yeah, I, that Valentine's Day delivered. <laughs> like normal. Which isn't saying much, but um, it looks fine.
and the many activities that come with, such as hiking the numerous trails and... <laughs> It's been a long winter. One of these subjects is theater. And no. There's no way. Shh. There are many courses. Blah, blah, blah. When you call <laughs> the kids, shame and you say same. This is a white girl. Boom! <laughs> Vision softly creeping